guys welcome to my channel so um, today I wanted to do a reading for my Libras I hope you guys are connected this reading is going to be timeless okay so whenever you watch it then it's yours okay let's get started what's going on with my Libras over here what's what's the energy that is surrounding you at this moment let me see Okay. Libra. Mm. Libras, you could be in a situation where um, there could be a lot of money coming your way, or maybe you are working towards the accomplishment of some projects that you've been working on for uh, the past month or years, okay? Um, but there's something going on here where you feel like you are finally at the end of the road or something. You feel like you're finally um, about to live the life that you always wanted to live. And this is great. This is just good energy over here. There's a lot of financial success coming your way. Um, this could be a very good time for you to sign some deals, make some deals happen, contact the right people, or you could be contacted by the right people. But there's money coming and there's people who want to work with you or work for you. Um, while you are actually experiencing a lot of success when it comes to your life altogether, there may be a person that is very close to you who's watching you and I feel like this person is not happy to see you succeed. Someone here is not happy to see you grow. Someone here is not happy to see you uh, learning. You know, you may even be in a situation where you are deciding to go back to school or you are deciding to... To just do something different um, you may have been working on your appearance you may have been working on uh, who you are as a person and someone doesn't like that someone doesn't like that um, you may also be dealing with your ex so this could be uh, a person that you don't fuck with anymore it's like either you don't have his phone number or you don't even have his email address. It's like you don't even want to deal with this person any longer. You may be dealing with a Scorpio or a Gemini. But someone is sad. Someone feels the loss. Okay? I lost you and I really do want you back. Um, there may also be some news coming forward about a marriage. So maybe you recently got married or uh, this person we are talking about is a person that you talked marriage with. And uh, this could have been a person who were telling you, I want to marry you, I want to be with you. This could have also be someone who made a promise to you and just didn't keep his promise um, but there's something going on where someone regrets and I feel like this person may come back around to apologize for others this is even like for others this is deeper than expected because what I see in my cards is that this could also be a person who left you and got married to someone else and is now feeling like he proposed to the wrong woman and is deciding to come back around to apologize to you but that's some bullshit mm -mm. if I was you I would never take him back okay but someone here is ready for uh, a second go. Someone here wants to be your friend again. Um, if this person has been texting you, emailing you, or trying to catch your attention, I feel like you're just ignoring this person. If this person hasn't come back yet, then uh, this is going to be something that you will do in the future. It's like... 
no matter the amount of energy the person will put into trying to contact you uh, you will just ignore the person pure and simple uh, you will want to move on to another stage of your life you will want to do something completely different than what you've been doing um, it's like you don't want to fuck with this person anymore something may must have happened um, this may have to do with money I don't know maybe you needed money and the person didn't want to give you the money that you were requesting or you were asking for money and someone just did not want to give you the money um, or this could also be a person who was just focusing on money so much that it was just not paying attention to you at all but something happened and I feel like whatever you realized when it comes to this person what you realize is that money matters more than you and I mean you know sometimes money is not everything sometimes the only thing that we do want is love or affection or friendship you know be like this person just didn't know what principles you um you kind of hold on to that you value more than money and this is what actually created some type of you know shift in your the relationship that you guys had or this is actually what created some type of you know drift as well in the connection that you guys had okay and um what's going on here is that you just don't even want to think about it anymore you don't want to you don't want to focus on it anymore for you it's over um this could also be a person that you met at work you know this could be a person that you met at work um someone you already grieved and um, this could also be someone who drives some type of fast cars and stuff yeah but for you it's over it's like unnecessary um, there could also be something that got to do with a picture maybe someone got a picture of you that he keeps looking at or someone kept something that reminds him of you you know um, maybe um, someone is really thinking and realizing uh, your value today but it's like a little too late to cry over it that's what I feel you know You could also be dealing with a drunk driver but for others you could also be dealing with a person that you knew from day one that was not the right person for you um, maybe it was also a type of relationship that was really <sighs> close to boundaries you know maybe there was some type of prohibition when it comes to dealing with this partner um, there was some type of prohibition when it comes to developing a connection with this partner um, you may also be feeling that this person has been playing games with you or this is how the person feels there was a lot of juggling going around someone was juggling I feel like someone was juggling someone was like you know maybe engage and you did not know you just it, maybe you just learned that someone got engaged and this is something that's literally pissing you off um i also feel like you are dealing with a person who uh acts as if it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter anyway even if you're like dealing with another guy it doesn't matter for me I'm over you you may also be dealing with someone who is acting as if he is over you but you know what the truth is he is not over you he um he still wants to be with you but he's acting like he's not interested uh for others you may also be in a situation that uh this person is already in a relationship with another with another woman but he wants to be with you 
It's there's something about you. You know, there's something about you. I don't know. Either you make a lot of money, either you attract money, or you know how to make money, or you are successful as a person, or someone feels like you know um, you are just valuable, and being with you is the reason. It being with you is just an obligation it's weird but I will say it sounds also like it's um, taboo in a sense you see what I'm saying all right okay so let's keep going let's see if I have more information because this story is so interesting um, I feel like someone wants to see you or someone wants to, um, how to say it, confess the love that he has for you, but something is too late. Um, someone could even have to realize that he, he will have to be with another person. And if you are married in a certain sense, there's also something going on here where someone is upset about that. You know, but it's like you have to go and be with another person in a certain sense. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, something is over. Someone may even be trying to figure out how to take you out of something, how to take you out of a connection, how to take you out of um, a situation. But someone is playing games, okay? Someone is playing games. You know, something is over. Maybe you're dealing with a person that you don't want to be with because you feel like the person doesn't have enough money for you. I don't know, but this is what I see in my cards. So the question is, how can we can, can we make a difference between love and money? But it's like when it comes to these two people, I feel like these are like to establish people because when you become established you you know you can't just date any type of person you see what i'm saying but anyway this is what i see and i hope you guys enjoy it see you next time bye